If you want a fully self-indulgently Mediterranean day boat, there's very few places better to visit than the Van Dutch stand. And here at the Palmer Boat Show, we have a pair of Van Dutch boats. We've got the 32 there, that's the smallest in the range. Second smallest, the 40 here. They also do a 48 and a 56, and in the future, we'll apparently be seeing a 75 too. But what we'll do is jump on board this 40 and take a look. Because actually, there's such a strong bloodline, such a consistent DNA in terms of the design and layout of the boats right across the Van Dutch range. That if you look at one boat like this 40, you get a pretty solid impression of what the others are all about. Now, as you can see, the moment you step on board, it's very clear that this is a party platform, a fair weather party platform. It's for sunny days. Specifically, it's for sunny days in Ibiza. These are actually designed for one day charters, enabling people to go from Ibiza to Formentera for lunch and to come back again. And as you walk around the boat, You'll see ways in which its design and fit out is perfectly optimised for that. Now if we start at the back end of course, we have all the usual bits and bobs, the shore power on the starboard side, the transom shower to port. We also have a lovely big sunbed that could easily accommodate three or four people. Beneath that we have a uh, pair of Volvo Penta D6 440s. You could also have 380s, but the 440s, they're good for about 38 knots. That's not a huge amount of speed, of course, but that is not what these boats are about. They're supposed to be genteel and comfortable and soft riding on a passage from one place to another. Now let's step forward into this cockpit because this is where the party vibe really becomes quite clear. Now we have really sociable wraparound seating all the way around here. Nice, generous companionways as well. In the centre, we have this rather extravagant table. Now this can be specced with a fridge in the centre here, a drop-in fridge. So you can have your drinks directly to hand. If we look down to the side, you see we've also got speakers everywhere you look. And they litter this boat. And we have quite a high-end sound system to cater for the party people that tend to congregate in Ibiza. And if we look at the uh, starboard wet bar, well, conventionally you'd expect a grill or some hot plates. But if we lift this up, you'll see there's absolutely no cooking to be done on board this boat. What we have is a pair of sinks. If you want food, you order it in, you get catering. So this is all about sinks and fridges. Fridges, cup holders, champagne, speakers, music, enjoyment and relaxation. It's not about cooking for yourself. Let's shut that back up and take a walk round onto that rather beautiful foredeck. Now as you can see, these side decks are very clean and lithe and tapered. The whole sides are also entirely free of windows and that of course is because Van Dutch wants to carefully preserve the loveliness of the aesthetic and they've certainly done that. You see we have these sunken cleats recessed into the deck so we've got no trip hazards and nothing to spoil those lines. And this uh, flexi teak runs all the way from the bow right aft virtually to that swim platform so it looks beautiful. And up here it's quite interesting I mean in terms of the business stuff the anchor is, is a really quite elegant affair. It's tucked down in there, you hit a button at the helm and the entire thing flips up and out over that bow so we don't actually risk damaging that lovely plum bow there. But if I move back and get the camera down to sort of deck level, they describe this as the kind of foredeck equivalent of an infinity pool. This is an infinity foredeck. You sit yourself up here at sea, and all you can see is the sea. There's nothing in your eye line but sea. So it's rather an elegant idea. And apparently, if you go to Ibiza, you'll see people using uh, their Van Dutch Fordex as a uh, place to conduct their yoga as well. So it's really quite an interesting take on what a day boat should be all about. No guardrails, of course. Let's move back down the starboard side and get back down into our little party venue of a cockpit. There's storage beneath here. There's also storage under each of these seats. 
and a two-man helm there, which is really quite sparse. And look, we have the twin throttles, the bow thruster, the tabs, and the joystick. That's an option everybody takes, because I say, this is not a, a, a boat about working hard for the basics. This is a boat about relaxation. Everything is designed to be super easy, so you can just enjoy your day. So there's really not a lot to look at there. Um, in terms of the wheel though, rather like a uh, princess with their little bezel in the centre that always writes itself, if you turn the wheel, it automatically writes itself to look rather pretty. Now let's pop straight back down into the uh, cabin and have a look at what we found down there. Now I call it a cabin, that's force of habit, but it's entirely inaccurate. Because if we look around here, there isn't a bed anywhere to be seen. Just as this boat is not about cooking, neither is it about sleeping. People don't go to Ibiza to sleep. So we have a lounge. So you can come down and get some air-conditioned luxury, have a glass of champagne. Of course, as I say, no hole windows. So no natural light, save for the stuff that you get from those two hatches on our Infinity Fordeck stroke yoga venue. And if we look, at the wet bar on the starboard side. Again, no cooking facilities, no prospect of acquiring them. Just a very swanky sink with rather lovely tap and another deep set fridge for your drinks. We do have a shower though. Of course, not for overnighting because it's not what it's about. This is simply for rinsing yourself down in relative luxury, I suppose, before your night out or after your swim. So it's quite an extraordinary boat, in that it's difficult to judge it according to the same kind of parameters as you would a regular Mediterranean day boat. And this takes the whole party thing to its logical extreme. So judge it as you would other boats, and you'd say, well, no cooking facilities, no sleeping facilities. That's a flaw, but it's not, of course. For the people who buy these boats, it's a distinct asset. Now let's take a look inside that engine bay. Where's the button? Here we are. Now as you can see, D6 440s hooked up to stern drives. <coughs> Ahead of that, the batteries. Aside from that, virtually nothing. But of course, that does give you plenty of space for storage, or if you want to spec it that way, it also gives you uh, plenty of space for a sea keeper which a lot of people uh, for this sort of boat would spec, and a generator and an air conditioning unit. And that's really all you need. And there's ample space for that. And although the owner of this boat won't really consider it, there's plenty of space for servicing too. As you can see though, what's really missing from this boat, and they don't tend to erect them at shows because they want people to see the loveliness of the Van Dutch lines, is a hard top. That's not an option here but you do have the option of a bimini. Now that bimini uh, could be erected on carbon fibre poles and it goes all the way from the helm station here right back to the backrest at the aft end of that cockpit. So that's all nicely sheltered. And you can also leave that up while you're running, even at 30, 35 knots, it's not a problem at all. And that of course leaves those who fancy a bit of sun, the option of heading further aft, those aft facing sunbeds. And actually, while I think of sunbeds, let's pop straight back up onto that foredeck, because you can also spec cushions up here. And you can also use this rather pleasantly raked screen as a backrest for those cushions. So you can lean up against that and face forward and enjoy the view from this rather lovely foredeck. So in short, this is very clearly a super cool boat. I mean, it's not going to do a great many of the things that most recreational boaters will want from it. It's by no means a multitasker. Uh, but if what you want is a boat that can take you from Ibiza to Formentera and back, give you a proper no holds barred sunny weather party platform, well, it doesn't get much better than this. Mm -hmm.